Hello, today I have another Yamaha Reface and this is the DX and this is the FM sort of synthesizer. Now I had the uh, DX7 many years ago, same brown plastic and I always found it a really difficult synthesizer to program. If I wanted a specific sound I couldn't really get it. Uh, I would scratch my head for a long time and press buttons and things and eventually I would come out with an equally really really nice sound that I can use but it wasn't the sound that I sort of wanted because I never really got my head around how to program the operators. Now this has four operators, the DX7 had six operators so this is more like the DX100 actually than the DX7. Anyhow what I want to do is open this up and have a look at the actual control board in here. Yes, the uh, switches and the top panel is obviously going to be different on all the different uh, reface keyboards. But is Yamaha doing the same thing as Roland? Are they using a sort of a master control board that's actually the same in all of them and just use programming to make them different? I don't know. Because, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's there's nothing wrong with that but the uh, boutiques all actually use the same control board and they're programmed up differently and uh, they've done a very good job of it but is Yamaha doing the same thing I don't know let's open it up and have a look shall we So looking inside the DX here, uh, obviously this top panel is going to be different in each unit because it's got sliders on or push buttons or rotary encoders depending on which reface model you buy. But uh, the main board down here, there are some differences. Now this one has a plug here which the YC didn't and this also just one memory module standing vertically here and if I remember correctly I'll try and bring up the pictures in the YC there was two of them uh, horizontally and this sort of plastic cover here I'm just going to unscrew this plastic cover so I can have a look underneath there there you go I mean all this is basically the same there's a, a few differences I think I remember there was a chip here uh, but then there's a tiny one here that wasn't on the YC. Uh, let me think. I assume that plastic cover really is to keep this ribbon cable from sitting directly on the top of these inductors here. Maybe, maybe it interferes with the display. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But this little plastic cover will give it a bit of space and keep it away just a few millimetres. I'm not too sure. I'm just blagging it now. I really don't have uh, a clue as to why that plastic cover was put on there. The screw holes are exactly the same place as the YC but yeah all I can assume is that was there to stop this ribbon cable lying directly on top of the inductors. But uh, yeah there's not a heck of a lot of difference in there. Like I say there's a chip moved here, there's one memory module in here where there was two in the YC so Yamaha have indeed got a different board, even though it's sort of 95% or even more the same as the YCs. And I don't know about the piano version or the CS version because uh, I haven't opened those up. But yes, this board is different. Now the capacitors are also in a slightly different place, which means these boards have been respawn for each model and things have been moved around to uh, make space for you know the differences so why couldn't they have uh, you know moved a couple of bits and pieces around here and put normal size MIDI connectors on this this is all the main display here and this obviously runs off to the touch sensitive surface because this has got sort of four touch sensitive slideys on the front of it if that's the word slideys yeah I like that uh, here's that wonderful metal panel again where I can't really 
get to see underneath there. It looks like there's quite a large chip sitting underneath here. Uh, one of those BGA chips. Uh, this chip is exactly the same. These are exactly the same here. Uh, yeah, this board is the same board. And these are obviously different because they've, they've got to be. It's a different keyboard. Now, these little 6 watt speakers are the same. The keyboard's the same. So, yeah, there you go. That's the inside of the DX. And, yeah, that confirms it. Yamaha have actually got a different board, a different processor board in each one of them. Oh, well, not a lot of difference in there, but if you're interested in what these chips do and what they're for, uh, then have a look at the YC video that I've put up previous to this one. And there's a little bit more explanation as to what these actually do. So I'm going to put it all back together again. So, I hope that was uh, an interesting little look into the uh, DX reface. Um, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies for taking things apart and showing you, you know, what sort of goes off inside these things. Uh, but uh, if you'd like to sort of help me along anywhere, you can sort of always click the uh, Patreon sign here. And uh, if you want to see any more videos, just click the... Uh, subscribe button here and I hope that was interesting to you if you liked it please give us a thumbs up because that does help with the video searches and I've got uh, lots more things on the way for some more videos so thank you very much for watching all the best